Hello everyone, this is VJLZ32 back again. And I think I really need a new opening line. <laughs> but anyways, whatever. This is card class. And this one is requested by Soul Heart Die. I don't think he has any videos on his channel. But thanks for the request and check out his channel. He wanted to see a Jerry Nugget reprint versus Smoke and Mirror V6 reprint. So, there we have it. And I'm doing a red because, well, red versus red, why not? I mean, I also got a blue one, but it's the same thing. And I got this one, which was kind of made in Germany, and, well, it's not quite as good. <laughs> so, we won't worry about that one. So, anyways, what we got, <clears throat> this one, it's obviously a reprint. It looks real, but it's a reprint, sadly. And the box is coming apart. I already used double stick tape, but it's still coming apart. And inside, we got the cards. <coughs> and let me get those band aids out of my way. Alright. <coughs> the cards, actually, not bad. They have a decent stock and finish. There goes some tight finish. They do actually fan. Although my fingers are a little bit sticky from the band-aids. And it comes with a double-sided blank card. Could be used as a uh, cut card, I guess. And this is a blank card. That tells me right away that it's not the real deck because the real deck wouldn't have those. You do get your standard bicycle, USB-C, face cards and court cards. Here, yeah, Jerry's Nugget Joker, which is not bad. It says compliments of Jerry's. North Las Vegas, Nevada, and Joker on it. And you just got the Jerry's Nugget sign. And then you got another Joker. Identical. The Ace of Spades itself. Looks like this. It says Litho in USA, which I think means made in USA. In, like, Latin or something. And... It's basically, I think it's the same ace of spades they used in a Jerry's Nuggets deck. And it's been used in other USPC decks as well that I have or have seen. Again, they handle pretty good, surprisingly. I got lucky and I got this because there's others that are more plastic or are plastic and they're crappy. I've seen Savannah Sack Productions 101 do a review on some that... I think that were crappy, but mine actually are pretty good. And these came in a set with the blue one and the black one, so if you're looking for some, look for those ones. And really, you just got to be careful because sometimes you don't know what you're going to get, and sometimes you get crappy stuff, and sometimes, well, you get lucky. So that's that. It's fairly standard, but it's not bad looking. If you can't get the real thing, well, it's the next best thing. <laughs> So I'm happy to have it because it looks like the real thing, but it's not. I could probably get away with selling it as the real thing if I wanted to. But that would be scamming. <laughs> Anyways, then we got this one. The reprint of the Smoke and Mirror V6, the Ruse, which is French for red, for those of you who don't know. And it's got a nice dark burgundy colored box. It's got the sticker on it. In white. And everything else is, you know, basically standard Dan and Dave. It's embossed. It looks nice. Nice embossed flap. Let's get to the cards. You do get these two cards, add cards. Kind of a waste for me, in my opinion, because what am I supposed to do with them? And then you get two of them. Really, they could have done a blank card and a double, baker, double backer, or at least a double backer and an add card. Two add cards for each deck that came in a set is 12 wasted cards, <laughs> in my opinion. The back design is just like the original. Nice dark red with darker here in the center. The cards are standard. Unfortunately, unlike the original deck, I was just checking it out. These pips are just your standard orangey color. In the original deck, they actually had dark red ones that matched the back design. Why they did that in this one, I have no idea. It was lazy and sloppy. Also, I should mention, all the other reprints have metallic inks. 
They didn't do that one on this one. Again, sloppy and lazy. I don't know why they did that. Court cards, standard. Again, no metallic inks like the other ones. And just the standard, standard red. When they should have done a nice deep dark red. Ace of Spades is just standard smoke in there. Ace of Spades, as you can see. Nothing wrong with that. It's nice. I like it. At least they did that right. Another thing I, I should mention when comparing the original one to this one is that in this one they used standard code cards in the originals. They had modified, simple looking code cards. Similar but different. And you get your jokers, which look like that. There's two of them. And those are nice as well. Overall, out of all the reprints, this is the one I'm the most disappointed in because they did not do, they did not have the same dark red color like in the original one on the faces. They did not use metallic inks like the other decks. And it just, I don't know, it baffles me why they made this one so much different. However, that being said, they do handle really nice. Not so entirely on the thinness and stock. And if I had to choose one, if I had to choose one between these two decks, it's actually hard because, I mean, I got a Jerry's Nugget reprint and everyone wants nuggets and it actually handles decently. But then I've got Smoke and Mirror deck which handles great, handles better obviously. And looks nicer they're both nice decks they're both pretty good obviously this one doesn't handle that great but it's not bad compared to others if I had to choose one though it's kind of a lopsided at least I thought so at first but I'm still gonna have to go with smoking mirrors even though if I had to choose between all the smoking mirror reprints in the v7 set which is right here that would not be the one I would choose because it's got the least, well, because they, I don't know. They just did not do a good job on it because unlike the other ones, like I said, no metallic inks. They didn't match the color of the faces to the backs and etc, etc. But anyways, that's something for another time. That is card class for today. The next card class, and next day go check out Soul Heart Die. I'll post the link down below. The next card class is... Actuators Artist Edition versus the Actuators Black and White Editions from Aristocrat727. Definitely check out his channel as well. And that will be coming next Thursday. And I'll see you next time. Oh, one other thing I also I got, I still got several more decks to review this week and maybe more coming this week. But uh, what I would like to do is review every deck that I haven't reviewed yet that I've got recently. Or we'll get this week before I do my deck collection. So it's going to be lots of deck reviews still coming this week. And of course, obviously some unboxings more than likely. And of course, my big deck collection on Friday. And a contest ends on Friday. So make sure you enter if you haven't entered already. If you enter on Facebook, make sure that <clears throat> you tell me what your YouTube channel name is. So that I can make sure that I'm not giving you two entries. And also, there's a couple people. Nisant, Mahir, Jovan, Carvalho, Joshua Solomon, Leo Willem, and James Zuella. Who, I don't know what decks they want. If I don't know what decks you want, your entry doesn't count. And telling me, you know, what pick and choose something is not going to work. I need to know. The but anyways. That's that makes sure if you want those people that you you know send me a message or whatever tell me which free decks you want Make sure they're all from the same company. I've had a couple of people Choosing decks from each company. It's like no <laughs> That's not gonna happen. It's got to be all from the same company and I will have results for the contest one week from today next Sunday and I will also be doing the next contest next Sunday so stay tuned for that, and I'll 